and all of the waters that were in the river were turned to blood, and the fish that was in the river died, and the river stank, and the Egyptians could not drink of the water of the river. The book of Exodus in the Holy Bible may give us the first account of a red tide. Red tides are phenomenon in which certain pigmented algae, toxic algae, undergo population explosions. They bloom in enormous numbers, staining the water reddish brown. Toxins, or poisons, released by the algae periodically kill millions of fish and cause billions of dollars in losses to the global commercial fishing industry. If health officials detect a red tide, they ban fishing for oysters, shrimp, and other shellfish. If they didn't, unsuspecting consumers would get hit with a virtual tidal wave of discomfort in the form of neurotoxic shellfish poisoning. This terrible form of food poisoning causes not just nausea and vomiting, but tingling of the mouth, arms and legs, as well as poor coordination and other very unpleasant symptoms. With no specific treatment, victims may suffer for days on end. That may change thanks to the research of Michael Crimmins, a scientist at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. His work focuses on Brevitoxin A, the compound that causes neurotoxic shellfish poisoning. It could even lead to the world's first antidote for this painful condition. For that research, the American Chemical Society awarded Crimmins its 2010 Ernest Gunter Award in the Chemistry of Natural Products. Natural products are chemical compounds produced by plants, animals, and other living things. Natural products or substances derived from them have been the source of almost one out of every three of our prescription drugs. For more, here's Dr. Crimmins. So Brevitoxin A is a very complex structure that was isolated from red algae. And this red algae, the, uh, the scientific name is Karenia brevis, uh, creates these massive algae, algae blooms in the Gulf of Mexico, in the Pacific, in various places. And these massive growths of, of algae create uh, what is called a red tides. And these red tides are these red algae that have grown sort of out of control over miles and miles and miles of ocean. They can be 50, 100 miles wide or long. And these algae produce a, a series of neurotoxic compounds, of which Brevitoxin A is one of those compounds. When shellfish encounter algae in these red tides, they take up the toxins. People who eat the contaminated shellfish then become ill. The algae can also produce a toxic mist, which is swept along by the wind like fog. People along the beach or in ships can become sick simply by inhaling this contaminated sea mist. In their quest to develop medicines to treat neurotoxic shellfish poisoning, Crimmins and his colleagues have been gathering knowledge about Brevitoxin A and related toxins. What we've been trying to do is to develop a, a synthesis of these compounds in the laboratory. While they're incredibly toxic, they're not really available in very large quantities from the natural sources. And so we've been trying to develop a chemical synthesis of the compounds in an effort to perhaps develop analogs that would be effectively antidotes to these compounds. Dr. Crimmins is talking about a potential cure for neurotoxic shellfish poisoning. For those who might encounter the toxin, that could reduce an ancient health threat of biblical proportions to a mere ripple.